Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Gabriella. I'm here today. I'm going to do a manga haul. I've never done a manga haul before. I've been watching way too many YouTube videos of manga hauls lately, so here is my first one. And to begin with, we have my favourite ever anime. You're right. It is Spy Family. Everyone loves Spy Family recently. I'm in love with it. I watched the anime in such a short amount of time and so I thought I really have to pick up all of the manga. I have to catch up, you know, and yeah, so I'm super excited to finally own volume 4. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm excited to read this. I love Anya so much. She is so adorable. I have the rest of the volumes actually in transit so they will be with me soon, I've on and off collected a few of them so yeah. PS just wanted to say I really love Bond on the cover, he is adorable. Here we go, onto the next small package, I wonder what book it's going to be, I'm super super excited. For this haul I have started to collect three different series I think, new series that I've bought volumes 1 to 3 of. This I mainly picked up because of the cute cover, the look at that cover art, it is adorable. This is the Dragon Knight's Beloved, this is volume 2, I also have volume 3 somewhere in here and volume 1 is actually on the way so I'm super excited to start this. Who doesn't love dragons, you know? <laughs> dragons, fantasy, in a manga, what else could we need? Here's just some of the art within the manga and I love it already to be honest, <laughs> it looks super awesome, I cannot wait to start reading it, I have to wait for volume 1 as I said to get delivered to me so I'm waiting on that. When it doesn't tear smoothly it makes me want to cry. You don't know how excited I am to be unboxing this copy of this edition today. Oh my gosh, this series, I've been seeing it everywhere and I've needed to get my hands on it. There's my excited little jiggle. It is The Apothecary Diaries, volume one. Look at that gorgeous story art. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I really love historical fiction. I'm so in love with it and so I'm really hoping this is all I expect it to be and more. If you couldn't tell by the enthusiasm in my voice, I am excited to read this. <laughs> so let me know if you've read it in the comments below and leave a like if you're enjoying this video so far. Here's some of the manga art. When the manga has the first page and it's coloured, oh wow look at that cute illustration, I just love it so much already. This next package is a thick boy if you couldn't tell already, I think there's a few books in here, maybe three books and there goes the tip, tear it off perfectly and I'm super excited to see what's in here. Oh, we can see there's a peep already, we have another volume of The Dragon Knight's Beloved, this is volume number three and the dragon on the cover art, gorgeous. I love the outfit, I love the style of the characters and yeah it just seems super interesting. I haven't really seen anyone read this so I'd like to know if anyone's read this yet and yeah let me know what your thoughts are if you have any thoughts <laughs> and yeah just let me know whilst you enjoy some of this amazing manga art. Despite the manga being called The Dragon Knight's Beloved, I haven't done a good job at showing you any of the dragons in the story yet, so here's me flicking through the book and trying to find some dragons for you guys, and here we go. I think this is the main dragon character in the story, so it looks awesome already. Oh, look at those. Look at that art. Oh my gosh. In the same package I have the first volume of The King's Beast by Ray Toma. I've seen this book so many times in Waterstones, you don't even know, it's drawn me in so many times. I remember taking a picture of the cover art and I was like, one day I'm going to read this manga. When I get into manga, this is what I'm going to read. And so I finally gave in and I bought volumes 1, 2 and 3. 
this is the first volume as I've just said and I'm super excited it's another historical fiction-esque story so you already know I'm there <laughs> okay so yeah I'm just flicking through some of the pages and it seems super interesting actually so I can't wait to start it to be honest And the last manga inside of this package is the apothecary diaries volume number two i love 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 whoever did the app for this story oh my gosh the coloring is gorgeous everything about the illustrations are gorgeous oh wow close up for you just because i love it that much oh wow volume two so i'm just going to flick through a few of the pages here um, to show off some of the art again, some of the art style, to give a little feel for what the story's about. Don't want to get too into it, otherwise I might spoil myself, so let's just do a flick through. And of course, there is the first page with the gorgeous art in colour. I can already tell just looking at the spine to this series that together on a bookshelf, this collection is going to look exquisite. I cannot wait to collect it. And here we have the final package. This is a thick and a heavy boy. <laughs> this, if you don't know, I have actually purchased a box set. Um, the box set contains six volumes of a certain manga. You've probably already seen the title. I think I've put it in the title already. The box set is actually Sweat and Soap. The box set is the first half of the manga collection and it contains volumes 1 to 6. Here we go, there's the box art and it also includes exclusive scented stickers and you know I'm all about that sticker life. But wait, there's more. Before we go onto the box set, here is volume number 3 of The Apothecary Diaries. Once again, I'm here to tell you how in love I am with the cover art and also the inside manga art. Wow, I am so excited to start this, guys. You don't even know. Someone please tell me if you enjoy this series as well. I know it's still ongoing and there's still quite a few I need to collect, so I'm looking forward to it. On the first page of the inside cover, here we have one of the main characters. Someone who's watched The Untamed, please tell me he doesn't look like Jong Chong. So we are swiftly moving on and here we have the perfect looking box set of sweat and soap. I'll just give you a briefing of each of the sides of the box. Here we have some cover art. There's adorable, cute illustrations of the couple, the main character couple, and I'm so excited to dig into this. On the top, there's just the manga logo, and then on the bottom, there's nothing interesting really. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to take off the plastic wrap for Sweat and Soap, the box set, and have another look at each of the sides of the box. I'm super excited. I've been recently watching videos by a YouTuber called Himaka, and she usually does manga hauls and manga unboxings, and she really sold this series to me from just the first, the first volume. So, I'm definitely, I think I'm going to enjoy it. It's kind of a crazy concept or weird concept and obviously the title itself sweat and soap <laughs> it's kind of gross but also kind of like ooh, why is that so yeah and it includes exclusive scented stickers because this is a, a manga series about um i'm pretty sure the main character he actually works well they both work at I think it's some kind of pharmaceutical, not pharmaceutical, but more beauty product-esque workplace. And that's where they both work and that's how they get to know each other and see each other. So that's the concept of it, I think. And yeah, this is super adorable packaging and apparently it's a wonderfully mature romantic relationship between the two of them. So I'm excited. I'm really excited. So I'm going to go ahead and finally open it up. <laughs> Let's hope that I don't damage it. Oh, it's quite easy to open, which I'm very thankful for. The rest of the books that I've done in this haul are just sitting behind. I thought I'd put them on display, <laughs> let you see them. Now I'll let you have some ASMR moments. So here we go.
there she is in all of her glory <laughs> we have her she's here she's gorgeous she's looking fabulous and she's here oh i forgot to put out the sticker okay so we're gonna look at the covers i guess we'll start with volume one already i love the idea the concept i love everything about it already i think i'm gonna binge read these first five Six, six volumes. I think I'm gonna try to binge read, binge read these first six volumes just to get them out of the way and to read them. Of course, I like this little the little panels on the back. It's super cute. So then the blurb on the back says, Asako's living her dream, working at the toiletry maker Lilia Drop, but she has a secret. The reason she loves the company so much is that she's ashamed of her body odor, and their soap is the only thing that's ever helped her. So when the company's lead product developer perfuming genius approaches her in the lobby and wonders what that smell is she's terrified but could it be that he likes it that he likes her the most surprising of all she might just like him back Ooh, i like the little bubbles coloring is so pretty already on the covers here's the side let's do a side sweat and soap volume one by kim tetsu yamada now we'll just have a quick little flick through. Okay. So here's the front page. <laughs> it's a quite a funny picture. Oh wow, already quite, not steamy, but you know, romantic. I need to smell you every day is chapter one's title. So I think that says everything. And they immediately, I think within the first few pages, they meet each other. Whoa. All Let me find this. I've just seen this. What? What? Already? Volume 1! <laughs> so, I think it's fast paced, to be honest. So yeah, that's volume 1. And I've got volume 2. Spicy, steamy. Volume 2. The back. These are different characters. They must be the side characters. Volume 2 in the purple. An intensified black and white version of the cover. Let's see the chapter title. This one's not too anyone. This one isn't as crazy as the last. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe that's not YouTube content. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. I'll do one last flick through. The art style seems quite cute. Love that face. That's only two. Oh, this is the box art, isn't it? Just there. There and there. Copy. Yeah, this is volume three. And who this is, another side character. Right here. The inside art. Same as the last. Chapter 18. Through, make sure there's no explicit content. <laughs> Whoa, they just confessed their love. Gosh, I'm really skimming through the book, aren't I? Yeah, I've been sat in my manga collection. Volume 4. Oh, that's such a cute picture. That's so sweet. That must be their work friends. Now for the inside out. Yay! Adorable, cute, adorable. Some of the art style. Go once more. Looks like a flashback. Hmm, interesting. Volume 5. Orange theme seems like an autumn theme. Autumn esque. Adorable. That is adorable, <laughs> I must say. Let's look at the first page. Oh, it is a Christmas Christmas themed chapter at least. I have a feeling they're already living together. Is that a thing? Okay. Volume 5, and then the last volume. Volume 6 here, I love the uh, I love the colouring on this one as well. 
this lady keeps appearing I feel like so that's interesting and this is a cute picture as well Izzy back hugging so sweet I see happy valentine's day that's so sweet this is funny as well <laughs> the shouts at each other it seems there's bonus manga as well i've just realized bonus manga at the end oh and there's also valentine's day soup recipe yeah from the author that's cute hmm. okay so that's it for the book and now we're gonna have a look at the stickers <laughs> i will smell them i will give you a smell review of each of the sticker pages let's go through them first so we have two stickers there this is also a sticker so sticker one two three and then oh, i thought there was more okay three and four four stickers that's quite cute wait what five stickers oh my gosh okay let's do some smell Mm, that smells of soap <laughs> or maybe of cleaning products you know like um bleach <laughs> um, not bleach but the other smelly cleaning products this smells of lemons well, this smells quite similar to that to be honest smell this one. Oh, they smell mm, that one smells a bit weird maybe it's a sweat smell I don't know <laughs> Then we have these ones of their work friends, it looks like, colleagues, and then this cute one. That's one of the cover arts for, I think it was volume 5, no, volume 6. Volume 6, let's smell this one. That smells awful. That smells awful, beyond awful. Do not sniff this one. And that one also smells awful, so this page is unsuccessful with the smell testing. So, if you're gonna smell any of the stickers, definitely smell these ones. These ones are better. That's it. There's no inside funniness in the box. That's it. So, yeah, that's my Nomega haul. But, yeah, this is what I got. I got this stuff. We got the stickers, the smelly stickers, and the nice stickers. And yeah, there we go. That's the haul over. Here are just some cute pictures of my new manga collection. I hope you enjoy. I am really excited to read the, this for definite. I'm excited to read Sweat and Soap as well. But I think my top one, I love, 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 love historical romances. This is going to be my favourite, I think. And I love the cover art. Look at, I have, that's the, the male character, I know. I love it. I love it already so yeah i'm excited <laughs> i'm excited to get to know the characters yeah okay that's the end of it maybe i'll post a manga reading vlog who knows if you like watching leave a comment and subscribe drop a like as well it'll help the channel <laughs> when we're speaking like that and yeah um i think that's it for this video at least and i have the smell of these stickers i have the smell of these stickers still on my fingers it's gross I must say. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed and see you soon.